Yo, what's good, boys? We are back in motherfucking Red Dead Redemption 2, baby. You already know this game gets me so hyped once I load it up. Oh my god, look at all the hot Ooh, man. Look at bro. Look at Arthur, bro. Just, just look at him, bro. Just look at him. Dutch and her are arguing, bro. Yeah, it was. I really like Karen. Karen's one of my favorites. I wish she didn't talk to me because I wanted to hear what they were talking about, bro. They were going at it again. Alright, let's do some chores. At some point, I do want to get a haircut with Arthur, but I don't want to waste too much time you know, doing that stuff. I want to get right into the story. But definitely at some point, I want to get a haircut. But I definitely realize we got to keep a beard on Arthur. The hair, we can do whatever with, but we got to keep the beard. Also, there's a thing back there, that question mark thing. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that is. Oh, yeah. I usually give a recap of what, you know, happened. But, uh, yeah, basically, um, last episode at the end, Arthur got, Arthur got freaking, uh, captured, bro. By the Driscolls. And, uh, yeah, that sucker, they jacked that sucker up. You know what I mean? But Arthur made it back somehow. And, uh. Yeah, I mean, now we're weeks later, you know, and he's good now, but, you know, as you know, the hair's grown out and everything, and, you know, but, yeah, what's, what's going on back here? You want to talk? Oh, sure. Yes. I want to get to know Tilly more, bro. Why is, why is Mary Beth looking at me? We talked about this with Karen. That's real bad. I know. I just well. You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Rupa, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. <laughs> bro, Mary Beth is always looking at me, bro. My bad, Tilly. Damn. You know, all this morning, Arthur. Used to feel like one big party. Hey, morning. Man. Wrong I was. How are you it's feeling? not all so bad. Hey, Mary Beth. Glad to see you back on your feet. Uh, a few new scars, but I live. Okay. Well, let's talk more later. I really hope I'm not just tripping, but I really just think that Arthur and Mary Beth got something, man. They don't show it much, but. I've noticed, you know, since the beginning, them little little details, man. I'm telling you. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to just hear all the conversations and chilling. Is Miss Grimshaw and Miss Pearson, Mr. Pearson talking about going out? Oh, that's not Mr. Pearson. <laughs> That's uncle. I thought it was Mr. Pearson. Mr. Pearson's over there with his fat ass. Here we are. Another day older. And definitely not wiser. Definitely not wiser. I can feel that. I think you wonder where I've been. Hey. Alrighty. Hey, he's getting them chores done. 
Looks like we got two more chores to do. We can do them real quick. And then right after that, it's mission time. Where is this? Am I tripping? This chore is not in the tent, is it? I'm walking right past it. Yeah, I'm dumb. The hay. La di di, la di dum, la di dum. Horses will appreciate that. Yeah, they will. Miss Grimshaw. Yes, morning. The grimmiest of Grimshaws, man. Oh snap, OG slump, bro. What's good? How's it going, bro? On hey, welcome to the stream, bro. It's good to have another person in here, man. That's cool. You just dropped a sub, man. I appreciate that, my guy. Damn, that makes my whole day, bro. What a real one, for real. Man, man, man. Got me smiling and shit. Oh. Alright, let's see. Oh, we still got this bounty. Uh, yeah, we still got this bounty over there. We gotta pay that eventually. Okay, so we'll just head to the post office. Then uh, we'll go see Bill. Dude was cool as hell, bro. Yeah, for real, bro. <laughs> for real. But it dropped the sub and then it was gone. I mean, I appreciate it, though. And, you know what I mean? 100% appreciate it. I can't hit the post office. Red Dead is one of the best games ever made, I think. Bro, tell me about it, bro. Tell me about it. Wait a minute, where's my uh... I can't hit the post office? I guess not. Yeah, nah, bro, Red Dead is... Red Dead is different, bro. Red Dead is different. I never beat it, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Been missing out, bro. If it's not the best game, so much detail and everything is crazy, bro. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them and their pen. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust them? Can we trust them? <laughs> see what they say. Sean's accent always cracks me up, bro. Misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they boarded their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braith ones. Listen, I know these great boys fit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. Yes, we are. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh! What? What? 
What? No. Not nah, Sean. I'm done, bro. I'm mad, bro. Not Sean, bro. For Sean, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. I got to hide, bro. I'm getting lit up, bro. Yeah, I'm... I'm that's me. That's me. I'm just... I'm kind of... Bro. What just happened? Bro. Bro. That, that's... Give me my Lancaster, bro. We're about to go stupid. Well, not anymore. Apparently, I'm ass. Okay. I can't believe this. Move, Micah, damn! Oh, I'm cheeks, dude. Come on, pussy. Dude, I cannot believe Sean just died, bro. I was just messing with him, bro. Man, frick these dudes. Where's this other guy? He's up here somewhere? Man, I don't know. Come on, pussy. Come on. Oh my god, they're lighting me up. Okay, you know what? I'm done. Mink, you're dead. Mink, you're dead. Uh, Mink, and Mink, and where's this other guy? There's another guy somewhere. Whatever. Oh! Bro, these dudes aren't playing, bro. Damn. Nah, you know what? Locked in. I'm locked in, bro. Locked in. You say I take the back of the gun store? Bet. Dog, what do you mean? I can't even go in. Bro, I'm getting tore up, bro. Here we go. Oh! Okay. I'm getting sloppy. Who are you talking to? Yeah, blow that back out. What you talking about? Makes no sense I don't have my volcanic pistol right now. Pussy. Oh god, I'm about to die. Alright, you know what? I'm about to reload and everyone's dead. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Where did they go? Oh, they're in the... <laughs> Dude, this dude's standing right here, bro. Light his ass up. Dude, if Bill's dead too, bro, I'm gonna be pissed. This is unbelievable, bro. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? You so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you, a hundred times over. This is the Gray's town. Always has been, always will be. Only Gray's I see left around here is you. Mm hmm You want us to come out? We'll come out. Oh, Bill. Oh, mother. Bitch. 
Put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Mink. Mink. Yeah, say goodnight to all y'all. It was fun though. Oh, that was cold. That was mad cool. Bro said Morgan, and then we all just did our thing. Bro, my God, bro. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. I can't believe Sean's dead, bro. As you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Well, take the boy's body. Very proper someplace. Quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Pro, what? I cannot believe that, bro. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. That almost made me cry, bro. I cannot believe that, bro. Alright, give me my guns, bro. There you go. I always want my volcanic pistols, bro. Always. Buck and Bambi, bro. Buck and Bambi. Alright. Come on, Galvin. Let's see what we got going on now. So we got a Dutch mission. Can I still not go to the post? Oh, snap. All this is locked down, too. Bro, I got this bounty over here. This is locked down. I mean, god dang. Alright. Let's go to Dutch. Yep. Yeah, I, I literally cannot believe Sean's dead, bro. I felt like we just got him back. They took Jack now? Woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah! <laughs> oh, he got the whole cake! Oh, oh. you! Let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! Boy, we got everybody in this thing, boy! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know! Oh my god. Like, it really actually makes me mad that Sean is not riding with us right now, bro. Sean should be with us, bro. Easy, John. Try to 
Stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? I'm about to go stupid. Damn about the gold. They got Jack. They got Jack, bro. I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Let's go, boys. Tell me about it, Lenny, bro. Fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these red families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. <laughs> there they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, <laughs> I need to stay calm. <laughs> That's a screenshot. That's a screenshot. Get down here now! <laughs> what the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Wrong answer. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. These boys aren't playing. Gonna be civilized about this. Oh Dutch, I see you, my boy. Let's go. Come on, sharpshooter mode. Sharpshooter mode. Oh, I got it. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. Get back, get back. Boy, they tore me up real quick. All right, let's go. We locked in now. Mink. Right on the side of your skull, boy. Mink. Dummy. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? I got high velocity on. Find Jack and find that woman. Oh no, nah, this man pissed off. Jack. I think it was telling me to look downstairs, not upstairs. You 
should go help John look downstairs. Dude, Jose is scared to shit. I was about to pop Jose right in his mouth. Don't my ass, boy. Don't play with me. We're good. Now you want me to go up there? I'm coming. Come on, come on. Arthur, move, bro. I want to see what's going on. God damn, what up? Oh snap, they got a whole freaking thing in them dudes. Bink, dang, shot off your ear, boy. Oh, y'all got fire. I got fire too. Don't play with me. Yeet. Ah, uh, don't matter. They all move. Oh, frick. As they should. I got it. Arthur is so cold. Oh, yeah. Kill this bitch. Do it. You think we give a damn? Keep casually making me lose my guns, bro. <laughs> Dutch is a savage dog. Then my gun's over here. I hope. And it says it's over there. I don't know why it would be over here. Oh my god. I don't know where it's at. Whatever. <laughs> I want to pop this bitch so bad. Oh yeah, do it, Dutch. 
the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Santini. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. All right, thank you. Now shoot that bitch. I told you she was crazy. Leave her. Man, we should have burnt her alive, dude. Bumping. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. Eh? We killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! You got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Oh, my Good God. Fine. Pinkertons. Mr. Vanderland. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this, this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetite. Mm. The consequence that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> i don't want to kill all look at lenny bro Woo. just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. I love how the whole gang had his back real Mr. quick. Milton, stop following. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Oh, hell no. Don't talk to fucking Lenny like that. Lenny whoop his ass. We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need? There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. 
You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll you trying to get Lenny back. killed? We'll get going. Rest of you, get packing. Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot. Off. Follow me. I know the way. On our way to Saint Denis, Saint Denis, Saint Denis. On the way to Saint Denis. Ha -ding, ha -ding, ding. See, bro, this game keeps making me switch my guns and stuff around. I don't understand, dude. I don't understand. Give me the guns that I want, bro. Simple. Bro, if we would just chill and relax. They thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be John Marston got a point. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He did. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered. If we were ever who we thought we was. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So you were saying, like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, that's it up ahead. Hang it, I tried to go slow because I wanted to hear what he's talking about. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Yeah. You sure this place is empty? Dang. I ain't sure. Bro, nothing. Marston, what are you doing? Right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh shit. Oh my god. Damn, Marston. Bro. Oh, I thought. Never mind. I'm tripping. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps, huh? Come out where I can shoot you. What? You are some of the coward. Like you? The bounty hunters? The freedmen? The carpet beggars? The army of criminals who stole our land and our government? I survived them all. 
fight will live on. Oh. Damn. I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Sure. If I can jump, can I jump over this? Can I jump over this? Can I can I jump over this? No. Voices? First, let me loot this egg. Hurry up. All right, man. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. I thought I shot a guy right here. Old man them popped himself. Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes. Could I have a word with you? Dodge? Not now. Come on, Arthur. Hey. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this that girl for wonder of the civilized world, sand for granted, man. About. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends, nothing major. And John, about what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? 
I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Yes, sir, Saint Denis. Yes, sir. Next chapter. Chapter Falls, Saint Denis. Saint Denis, bro. This <laughs> is Gavin, dude. Has anyone seen Gavin? I still haven't seen Gavin, bro. If I seen him, I'd have. Hello, sir. Have you seen Gavin? Hello. You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? No. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! <laughs> oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh. Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Dang, that got sad. Wish you luck, mate. Let's see, man. We in a new town, man. New town. I was gonna say I could finally give me a freaking haircut, dude. <laughs> Let's go do that. Let's bring a tailor and everything, bro. Ooh, wee! Better get lit in here. <sighs> I know I shouldn't, bro. I know I shouldn't, but we gotta go check out the new stables, bro. I really. Oh my god, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, this is a different town, bro. Not a lot of room to work with here. Sorry, y'all, don't mind me. What's your issue here? Well, let's just look at some of these horses, man, you know. Can I help you with your horse? I got space for you if you need stable. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
the handling is elite on this dude. Oh my. And he's, look at him, bro. Like, that black is fire, bro. Bro. It's gonna make me feel bad for leaving Galvin, bro. God, dude. Oh, that's gonna make me feel so bad, bro. Well, one thing for sure is I'm not gonna sell Galvin. But look at this horse, bro. Oh my god. We got lots of horses to choose from. Clutch, I don't know, bro. Look at this horse, bro. Look at this horse. This sucker lit, bro. <laughs> dude, look at this horse, dude. Yeah, I'm buying this sucker. Yeah, I'm buying this sucker. I'm buying them, dude. Yeah, I'm buying them. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. What was that? Dude, I thought he was gonna rob me. What did he just give me? I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Damn, bro. I'd give this dude some, some money if I could, like. Alright, bro, let's go get that haircut that we wanted. And then, let's go get a tailor, bro. Like, let's just get ourselves right, bro, before we get started in this chapter four. No, I need to go to the post office, bro. That's right. Now, this town is so fire. Hey, Clutch, you told me about a guy, like, in, like, the alley, right? That, like, steals all your money and stuff. Didn't you say that once? I can't remember. Because if that's true, man, I'm going to be avoiding these dark alleys, dude. I love how you see so many more black people here. Like a fresh start. Perfect. Alrighty. Thanks, Mister. One thing I love about this part so far, just being here in St. Denis, bro, like, this is just so fire. Like, bro, this game, like, oh, you can just tell it's Louisiana. Just look at that. But this game, bro, this game, like, it's just so fire this game like they take you through valentine and, and emerald rain well valentine and all these strawberry all these little small towns up here and then they then they take you to saint denis and get this whole different vibe like it's crazy all right haircut time i forgot you know what gun store bro Let's see what i can get Clutch, man, you ain't gonna tell me about that, that, that dude in the dark alley, bro, that steals everything? I can't remember. I got too much money to lose all that, bro. I'd cry. Dude, tell me about the sucker, bro, so I don't make that mistake. Have a browse of our catalog. 
and I can go out back and get what you're looking for. Now, let me just look in here. Alright, let's see. Hmm, a little Lamar revolver or something? Lamar revolver? I don't know. I should get me like another double action revolver, bro. With that freaking fire rate, dude. Have two double action. <gasps> oh, what's that? You won't find a better selection of firearms this side of the river. The fire rate's crazy on this, too, bro. If you can get two of those and just pop, 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 pop. No, oh, don't say that, dude. Don't say that. I'm right at the gunsmith, dude. Okay, there's really nothing I can get except for that new pistol, which I'm gonna cop. I'm gonna get that pistol right now, bro. That freaking fire rate on that pistol is fire. Plenty of lively bars nearby. Be sure you take a gun. That's some of the best fire rate I've seen. Look at that. Is it better than the double action? Almost. Yeah, let's buy this later. Hmm. Could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I can do some nice ornate engraving on this. Bro, I can already like picture something fire to do with this gun, bro. Hold on, bro. Look back. Look back to grip. Would you be interested in yeah, because I can get a... Yo. Hold on. I got this. This better be fire. We're going to make the grip pearl. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Go ahead and make this... All this black and steel. Like that, and then, oh wow, these engravings are tough. Dude, these engravings are tough, bro. Oh my god, it covers the whole thing. I was gonna say, I don't know if I need all that. Yeah, maybe we could just do like the, the barrel. Double check because I might do this iron actually. Yeah, that's better. There we go. And then we'll have to name these guns. We'll name him after. We'll name him after. You should take a lot of bullets with you. Mm. Mm. All right, give me another one. Thank you. Excellent choice. And this one will go the funny grip. I think that's the right choice for you. Bam. Bam. Trying to switch up on what? <laughs> I 
I can't even see the rest of that message. What'd you say? Bro, I was really not trying to slip up, slip up a Gavin. I was Galvin. I was not gonna do that, bro. I was just messing around. Why would I switch up on Galvin? Man got shot right there on Courtney Street. Down here, you carry a gun. Let's see, what should I name these guns, man? Maybe I, don't, I should I don't have know. chosen a smaller store in Chinatown. Something cheaper. But I'm sure things will turn around. You know, I gotta I gotta let the name create itself eventually. Alright, cool, cool, cool. New guns, new guns. Is there? Can't wait to give this a try. Thanks, partner. Excuse you. Excuse you. All right. What's next? Haircut's got to be next, right? It's got to be, right? In the world, what the hell? dang, I just got this shirt. You straight? I've been covered in worse, friend. Oh, trust me, I have, dude. Just had to be me. Oh, and the hair mm, clothes. Oh, my god, can't even get my cut, dude. No, because it's nighttime, bro. Lame. All right, I guess we'll just go to the nearby freaking stuff then. Go ask about this sucker. Hey, how y'all doing, man? Stick him up, cowboy. Funny Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in a sucker. Papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot. I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. <laughs> All right. Everybody stared at me. Funny you should say that. Because these are a bunch of fancy suckers, bro. They're like, they never seen a cowboy like this. America's dirty little French And that's why we love it. Born and raised. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, <laughs> Dog. You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Alrighty then. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. 
See, I don't trust going in no alley. Look at this sucker. Look how he's looking at me. Hey, friend. What you doing? Sucker, keeping too close of an eye on me, dude. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You are. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. That's such a you weird question. Cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, right here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. Uh, I said I got a future, dude. Let me tell you. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? And Cleet. Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, Mister. Dang. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, Mister? No. We're Catholics here, Mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh. Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, Mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. I'm getting my money back. Don't play with me, dude. Dude, no way this kid just did that. Was I supposed to take that horse, bro? Dude, I got money, money too, dude. Do not play with me. Crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, bro. I ain't giving nothing up, dude. This little shit is fast. Come on, Arthur. Did you just... Why did I just do that? Move, 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 move. Excuse you, pussy. This kid, bro, is on my head. Move, man. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. 
Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right through us. Ran around the corner there. <laughs> this fucking kid, bro. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. That kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yopo. Now, get out of here. Little rat kids. Alright, got my money back. Thank God. I thought for sure it was going to be gone. Alright. Can I go get my hair cut <laughs> Ooh wee! What's going on over here? Hey, will you help a fella out? Hey man, anything for my, any for Lenny, anything for Lenny's cousins, bro. Listen, you have to take this. Ooh, that's real kind. Damn, that looked crazy, whatever he's gaming. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Hmm. Real. Hush, hush. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even ever really gotta take my horse around here, but everything's like close nearby around the corner. There we go. Finally give me a little cut cut. Alright man, listen, my last guy used to hook me up, dude, so I, I, I'm not here for no games. You gotta get me right. Let's see, what kind of cuts you got, man? You got anything new? Now you just got the same old, same old like the other sucker. Oh, look at that. Full styles. Dang it. I'm good with all of these, though. All of these are kind of trash, I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's see. Gotta start with the hair. Let's see what I want to do, man. Because I've been, been kind of like growing out this middle part. See, the middle, it looks fire once it doesn't get too long. Once it gets like this, it's kind of heat. I don't ever see a reason to pomade my hair either. It just looks too fancy, man. I don't like that. I mix it up with like a left part of fade or something. That look kind of fire. Mm. 
Even though the middle part fade goes just so hard, bro. Isn't that some heat? Sweat back. Middle part of fade is just the best looking one, dude. It's just so clean. That's pretty decent. Say so. Hmm. I say you look ready for a portrait now. Probably like this. It's probably it's probably chill. Get that LeBron beard. Can't tell me that ain't LeBron, dude. Hey, this is the white LeBron. You know, we'll mix it up with the uh, the hair, though. Instead of middle parted, we'll go with, like, left parted or something. Yeah, that look, that look fire. Finally, though, we got ourselves cleaned up a bit. Now we look fire again. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Sorry, y'all, sorry. Y'all don't stand right in front of the door, dude. Damn. All right, and then we'll hit this tailor, and then as soon as we're done with this, then we're going to get back to everything. Just wanted to get myself, you know, right, you know, in the new city. And I was not trying to switch up on Galvin, by the way. I can't believe you even thought I would do something like that. Oh, I missed the stairs. They over here. I don't know if you said something while I was chasing that kid. I don't know why I feel like I saw something, but I didn't. No, you didn't say anything. Okay. Hello, sir. Hey, how y'all doing? Makes sense there's so many black folks, man. The Louisiana man looks like it's took over. I can't go in there? Senor. That, is, that, is that the wrong door? Oh, here we go. Hello, welcome. Hey man, I need you to get me right. I wonder, like, if they got, like, genuinely got more stuff over here. I hope so, though. I really do. Oh, it's just the same things. Hmm. We can get something fire, though. Because, like, now that we're in the city and everything, now, like, this is where I want to get, like, a really fancy fit. You know what I'm saying? What was I going to do? I'm sure. Yeah, let me look at out. Oh, nope. Did not want to look at hats, because I don't think I'm ever going to switch up my hat, bro. Even though, man, these hats be fire. Bro. These hats are clean, dude. People say us tailors all sound the same. But I find that... Alright. Our goal here is to get, like, a little, like, fancy outfit, bro. Something fancy. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? Like we're gonna get a whole vest and everything, bro. You know what? I might even like, like say, frick a coat. I might not even wear a coat. I might just do like a vest and like a shirt. You know what I mean? Like that kind of sound fire. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, bro. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. How do I? Have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you look good in anything you choose. I was going to say, though, how do you, like, take off your coat? Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a good old friggin' question, Justin. Good old friggin' question. I want to take this motherfucking shit off. I want to take this shit off, man. All right then, but if there was anything in there that caught your eye, it'll be right here waiting for you. Hmm. True. Now what's going on in here? All right, then let me just get some things. Let me get some things. Well, I'm gonna find a vest that speaks to me, and then we get a shirt that goes along with it. Let's get something. See, this one speaks to me. It says that fancy, fancy. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's do like something like a brighter blue. I feel like that would be tough, bro. Oh, we got more down here. I didn't even know that. Nah, dude. We gotta go like a purple. Like a midnight purple. Yeah, bro. If we can go like a midnight purple type of thing. It's over. What's this? And that comes in a few different this and the vest, bro. This and the vest. Oh, nah, that'll be tough, bro. That'll be tough. Nah, dude, we might have to do that. Yeah, nah, nah. Let me go to um. Where was that? Where? Which, which shirt was that when I saw that? Right here. Yeah, bro. Telling you. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. Well, I'm gonna get a temporary, like a, like a, like a temporary coat, because like. Keep you warm and looking your best. Let's see. Let's get something like nice looking. You know what I mean? Nice, nice looking. Just a little, just a little temporary coat, you know. like a blue though but it look purple I can't even lie like I don't know if it's just because that purple make it look purple I keep clicking the wrong buttons okay let's try this again hmm See, that look purple too, though. Just because of the purple. Like, I feel like the purple is making it look purple. Please, at your I don't know I which one I want to get, man. I carry all... You know what? We'll do, like, this gray. That actually is fire. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? And then eventually we'll just take it all off. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What in the world? I only sell high quality garments. A pair of trousers from me is an investment in your future. Oh snap. This sucker ain't lying. Hmm. I kind of like them pants too. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I may be on to something. I have to say that looks just fantastic on. And get some boots. Hold on. Wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? People around here come in just for those. Do they, bro? Do they? 
Let me do that. I'm gonna do that. Ooh, hold on, bro. Yeah, bro. I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase with confidence. Damn, bro. If I can get, like, some purple shoes, I'd be tough, dude. I feel like that's actually kind of mad. That's mad clean. That's mad clean. Yeah. And there we go. Got what I need. Appreciate it. Whew. Look at Arthur, boy. Hold on. Let's go outside and take a look. Look, look, look. Dude, nah, this fit clean, boy. Shoes are kind of purple. Fits kind of... Oh, my God. It's tough. Hello, madam. How you doing? How y'all doing? Hey, mister. Hello. All right. Let's go do what we got to do. Oh, Dutch. Where you at? I had to get myself looking right, Dutch. You feel me? I haven't even looked at my guns yet. Bro, why do I have this equipped? Oh my god. Oh, I don't even think I ever. It's fine. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently, he lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Wow. Good work. So what now? We go now our place. outfit looks clean. John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Yes, sir, boy. Get Jack back, boy. We're going to get Jack back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of Parasites, reptiles, and slime. Mm. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Here we are. See this hat? Like, I feel like this. Buenos dias. Oh, hold on, bro. Has time went by, or did my beard already get bigger, dude? Or am I wilding? I think I'm wilding. Oh, hi. Hey, let's see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Man, we got strangers all about. Let's head to that fence. Let's see if we can sell something. And then... And then what we got going on? Matter of fact, where's that house? Oh, the camp's all the way over here, bro? Oh, my God. Mary Beth? Ooh. Mary Beth need to speak to me. Okay, Mary Beth. That's fine with me, Mary Beth. She. I love me some Mary Beth, bro. Alright, everyone speaks Spanish here. You got Spanish, French people. the frick is going on here what's up me I don't know if I got things to sell. I have nothing to sell oh wow you know what that's fine I actually think I need to buy some things yeah give me some dynamite fire bottle you know what I could use some of this while I'm here thank you um, then there was something I wanted to buy here, and I can't remember what it was, bro. I should get this, bro. Poison knife, interesting. Damn, bro. I need to learn how to do this stuff.
Damn. Yeah, never mind. I thought there was something that I wanted in specific, but I think I'm just tripping. What you got over here, bro? Just a random room? I appreciate you, I guess. I probably can't go out this way, can I? Why did I even try? But I can search it, that chest. Hey, man, you, you want to just look away for a second? I opened up your chest, dude. Just look away for one second, man. Yeah, what I was saying, man, is I don't know, man. Like, I've kept this hat because it's Arthur's hat, but this, this thing is crusty, dude. <laughs> Look at how crusty this hat is. Good morning, dude. Because I got this fire old fit, and the hat is ruining the whole thing, bro. It's ruining it. All these darn people. Dude, y'all need to get out of my way. Jesus. Alright. Uh, you have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but well, what, look at my hair. What happened? You have no idea. Dude, I just got a haircut. Why is my hair and long God again, bro? Does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well... Uh, Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Bro, is my hair really long again? How, bro? Did time go by? I thought my beard... Bro, I swear to God, bro. Some time must have went by when Arthur was like... When he was talking from like a... Bro, gotta get my hair good again, bro. I gotta get fire, bro. I gotta look fire. I'm sorry, bro. I got, I'm sorry. I gotta look fire. This messed up, bro. I just had a fresh cut, and now they gonna make me lose my cut, dude. How they gonna do that to me? I'm gonna return to it. Just give me a second. Let me get my cut. All right, dude. Let's just go do this then. I don't know what happened to my hair, bro. I just had a freaking fresh old cut, dude. Disappeared. And they don't did me wrong. Sorry, people. Look at my hair, bro. Like this, that's gonna make me mad, dude. Hello. I ain't talking to none of y'all, dude. Everybody just move. Damn. Oh shit. Hello, can I walk? Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? 
Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. They made me do it, I swear. Dang. Oh, hello? Shh, gadgete, gadgete. What's going on down here? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. This is crazy. Por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Come on, fellas. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's uh, it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Who is this man? No lo sé. Estamos libres, y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Yeah, they said they gotta trust me. Man, we can recruit these suckers to Dutch, dude. Get some 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 Spanish in there. Glad to see you again, sir. Why was she looking at me like that? <laughs> Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, <laughs> come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Pay me. For your services. Dang, bro. These men myself. That was such a cool thing. Nah, bro. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Arthur's, on, car Arthur's ca character development, bro. Sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Alright, bro. Can we finally get my hair cut, bro? Oh, <laughs> uh, look. There's another stranger right over here, bro. Bump all that, bro. That'll go for another day, bro. Somehow my freaking hair has grown magically. Hey, mister, I'm back. You gotta cut my hair again, dude. Like, how did my hair grow that much, bro? <laughs> There's no way. That's gotta be a glitch, bro. There's no way. Clutch, bro, if you're still in here, bro, was, did, like, some time go by? Did I miss that? Like, I know there was a part where, like, Arthur was, like, talking. But there's no way that much time went by. Like, this sucker, everything is fully grown. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah, suits you.
All right, now we're straight. I mean, my hair is fully grown, dog. That was crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go to Dutch. Yeah, my horse is long gone, dude. Not long gone, but. Oh, what's up? One book to truth. One book to the future. My book. My book about the path to eternal joy. Money. Be rich. Sir, madam, make something of yourselves. I love you and want to make you happy. Hello, sir. Um. Partner. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Damn, what do I gotta lose? Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Nice. Come we'll check that out sometime, but not right now. Oh, my horse is here. Perfect. Alright, I wanted to change to this one. Nice. You know, on second thought, let's just check this book now. When you pass for earthly paradise, this one. What? Wow, bro. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I bought. Where's that dude at? Homes for the blind. This land is a yeah, let me give this something, something real quick. Dude, I don't even know where I was at, bro. Dude, where was I at, bro? When I saw that dude, they gave me that book. I think I was down over this way. Can't remember, bro. Fudge. That book is a bunch of BS, dude. Was I down over here, I think? I think I was down over here. Ah. 
I don't even know, dude. Or was not by the saloon? I think I was by that saloon over there. I was. Nice. What do I do to this sucker? Hey, man. You sold me a bunch of BS, dude. This is the veritable Bible of success, my friends. This book will make you the person you have always wanted to be. A rich bully. I mean, you sold me some BS, dude. You are clearly interested, or you wouldn't still be here, bro. Why not just buy the book? Listen, listen to me, friends. This book, this precious tome, this passport to earthly paradise. I have written it for you. So that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful man who is now dedicating his life to helping those with the wisdom to help themselves. Yes, I'm a philanthropist, an American philanthropist. I only help those who help themselves. Help themselves how, I hear you ask? Help themselves by reading this book. Read this book and save yourself. You'll live free from worry about money. You'll be in a mansion, not the workhouse. Your children will grow up wealthy and supercilious, not street urchins and thieves. Think about it. Think about you want freedom. You want happiness. You need money. It's all right here. This book is trash, dog. I can't even talk to this dude, bro. You're still here? You are clearly in no rush to become rich beyond wildest dreams. Hmm. Buy my book! Read my book! Do exactly what I say and you'll be rich. Rich, rich, rich. Well, let's Alright, let's go see Dutch. That would have been funny if I could have like, talked to that sucker and been like, bro, your book's trash, bro. It's not. Dang, bro. What, what? All these people are stopping me. What's up? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Uh, I Listen guess. Minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? Oh, of course, dude. Twenty dollars. I love, I love helping for the veterans, bro. Actually, I have a veteran friend back in Valentine, believe it or not. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Dude, I can loot this box. <laughs> That's jacked up. I bet there were suckers that did that too, playing this game. Oh my god, I'm about to run into the thing. Ooh, take a hard right. Alright, Dutch. Where you at, Dutch? There you are. Is that Marston? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power of money. Now, listen. When we go in there, start shooting up the place. The boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. You 
Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Uh, I don't know if these seconds are the ones to mess with, dude. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got that. Oh, Lord. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. These suckers are looking fire and they're loaded and oh my god. It's freaking it's the mafia, dude. This is Italian too? Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why? Did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house, before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? Mm -hmm. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Oh, nah. This sucker acting like he a king, dude. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone, and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words, you lie shamelessly you think you are better than everyone else Teodoro <laughs> not the best woman Angelo Bron <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn uh, Arthur Morgan uh, uh, the pleasure is mine John Marsh <laughs> all mine please <laughs> <laughs> so uh, can my friend have his son. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job. I knew it. He was going to have me work for him. Get your son back. And now we're about to do a bunch of BS. A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this city. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. They about to do something to Dutch, dude. <laughs> they about to do something to Dutch. Come on, Galvin. Galvin, my boy. You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't nope. even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. 
We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. Dude, if I if figure the Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branch for all the money we cost, we must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. Sean is so but fire, bro. Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Bro, seeing John care for Jack, bro, is like so freaking cool. Yeah, dang, my bad, John. Got my guns? Yes, sir. I just want to pull them out just to look at them, you know what I mean? Hold on. We got to go photo mode for this. You know we got to go photo mode for this, boy. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, bro, we got to name these dudes. We got to name these suckers. Man. I don't know what to name them, dude. Hold on, I got an idea, bro. This one would be... Wait, no, 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 hold on. I got it, bro. It's a, it, it, the, the names are fuming in my head, bro. This is about to be some heat. You ready? Hold on. Hold on, bro. It's coming to me. It's coming, dude. So far, this... Okay, so what I'm thinking is this one... I'm gonna call this one Star, for if short for Star Scream, because bro, Star Scream and Transformers was tough, and this dude looked just like Star Scream, just because you know how Star Scream, like in the second Transformers, he had them tattoos and stuff, them alien tattoos. I swear to God, this reminds me of Star Scream with his alien tattoos, bro. So like, this one's gonna be Star for short, and then this one. Uh, what does this one make me think of? Mm, that's tough, bro. I just... oh, I don't. This one's like not coming to me. I'm gonna call this one Mega for Megatron, dude. Star and Mega, Star Scream and Megatron. Yep, Star and Mega, dude. Little freaking guns. Hold on, let me put my high velocity on for them. Oh, wait, we gotta reload. Cause I already know we about to tear some suckers up. Look how fast the reload is, too. Oh, yeah, that's fire. Let's see what's going on. Who is that? We don't want to spook him. Oh, over here. Who are you? Here for a burping and stuff going on. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. 
If John dies, bro, it's gonna be depressed. I'll go first. You stay close. Wait. Just quiet. Wait a second. Hold on. What is Arthur doing? Why is he saying a bunch of stuff? You hear that? He's like, shush, quiet. Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> now you're making me go over here? I've definitely experienced my fair amount of freaking bugs and glitches, dude. <laughs> it's okay. This game's still the best game, though. What the f Oh, let's go though. I get to use my new guns, dude. Let's go. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Nah, dude, I'm about to tear these suckers up. Mink, mink, mink. Hold on, dude. I need food, dude. I'm eating a minute. If it moves, blast it. We could be shooting anything, dude. Nah, dude. This is heat. <laughs> nah, that's fun, dude. That's fun. Going, Marston. Wait, there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Uh oh, let's go. Maybe we can get out that lock. Let's just try it back before we came in. Damn it. Dude, you just said. Let's go around the side. Crap. There's someone coming. Hide. Dude, there ain't no way this sucker ain't gonna see me. Marston, what's the move, man? With me. Marston, they're coming, bro. All we're done.
Hey, you're lucky, dude. I feel like like I've had like so many when I've played, but like it's not to where it like bothers me. I just had like I definitely had a couple. Definitely had a couple glitches. Oh my god. Come on, Marston. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. <laughs> Keep your head. I got Arthur's like, yeah, he definitely is playing with us. Oh yeah, it's his city, his city, bro. We gotta get Jack back, man. Clutch, also, man. I just realized. Hold on. I just realized, dude. I, I'm at the point where I have no clue what happens from here on out. Literally none. Like I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Like, I got to St. Denis before, but, dude, I did not remember Sean dying at all. That blew my mind. And, like, now that I'm here in St. Denis, bro, like, I just realized I don't think I did any missions when I was in St. Denis before. Like, literally none. Because I haven't known a thing that's happened so far since I've been here. Except for, like, going to the bar and asking about Bronte, but that's it. So, we're lit. We're finally in unknown territory. My horse needs a feeding. Carrot. It's like it loves carrots. I know Galvin, man. He loves his carrots. He loves carrots. He loves apples. Those are his two favorite. What are you doing? Let's go get Bro, I'm here, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a tripping. You took your time. Where's your host? Like Ooh, so that sucker wasn't joking. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank I'm Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. How do we always end up in some bull crap? Something ain't right about this Bronte guy, even though he Let's stood go. by his word. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that for taking so long i had a fun time i had my own room with a big bed and a toy box and lots of books dang so this like her do anything to you have you ever had spaghetti what what's that it's food it looks like worms but it's delicious <laughs> papa bronte teach me lots of italian words don't call him that please you know cavallo that means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? <laughs> For real. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. 
Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. <laughs> Me and your pa deal with him. Papa Bronte is crazy. <laughs> Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Marson is jelly, dude. Papa Bronte out here stealing people's kids, dude. Say thank you, Marston. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail. Can I go play now? <sighs> so. I wonder what John was thinking right there. We met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well. Let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with me. Oh, here we go. Dutch and Jose together are a bad idea, bro. Them seconds about to come up with Boys, crazy ideas. We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. I feel like Arthur and uh, Marston are like brothers. Go be with your family. I mean, they're all like brothers, but it's something about Mars Marston and uh, Arthur, man, they're just... This is lit, bro. Got this big old house. Got camp set up. Hell yeah, give me some some drinks, sucker. Of course the drinks are all the way over here, dude. This is jacked up. I'm trying to get into the party, dude. Beg your pardon, Mrs. Adler. I'm about to get Arthur turnt, dude. Let's go. Another one, dude. Turn up tonight, Arthur. Yep, it's down in bottles, dude. We're about to be jacked up. <laughs> hey, they get lit. God dang, Arthur, when are you going to start getting jacked up? Oh, there we go. You don't want to get too messed up. You know what? One more. One more. <laughs> it's like everybody get jacked up. Oh, whiskey? We're done. Nah, right, this is good. Yeah, we are all jacked up. Javier! Nice. Yes, sir. Let me sit down, bro. Oh, so now we're all moving away and everything. I just sat down. Yeah. 
Hey, Ms. Grimshaw. We're celebrating the safe return of Jack, and we'll be unavailable for other activities for a while. I got you, Marston. Let's get some foodie food over here, man. Get some stew or whatever this is. Is that Miss Adler? Hey, Miss Adler? Oh, look at that. We're back. We just need some food. The fuck? Uh, Mary Beth. You say so. <laughs> Mangos, maidens, That's Mary Beth. Mary Beth. Shoddy, baby. Yeah, I hope so. I can't talk to Mary Beth. There you go. He plays good, don't he? Okay, he sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. You want to dance again? Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> Maybe I'm just pushing that narrative. I swear I thought they had something. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks... Let's go sit to my best friend Lenny, dude. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. It's my best friend, bro. Someone I never saw, he shot the rope, clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Come on. Let's leave him to play a minute. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis. Hell yeah. I ain't saw that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. This is lit, man. I'm going to be sad when I beat this game, bro. I freaking got a connection with every sucker here, bro. Karen. <laughs> okay. Michael was spitting. Okay, they cleaned up in here. Little Jack. Mm. 
I don't know if I want to take the coat off now, though. <sighs> maybe we should, dog. Maybe we should. Dog, maybe we should, bro. Oh, my God. That honey jacket goes crazy. Dang, bro. Some of the stuff Arthur got is kind of heat. Dude. It's kind of heat. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Should we rock no coat? I don't know, but my, my vest and stuff is tough. Or maybe we could do like a... Like a gray type of thing. Nah. Nah. I don't know, man. I was I was rocking with the coat. This outfit definitely is tough. Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, we'll store these in the lockers. Because I don't ever pull those out. all that is going on out there let's go to bed no nope, can't sleep can't can't sleep oh there we go and it disappeared oh is this storm outside dude, it almost sound like real life dude dude I just want to sleep dog This is crazy. This is another freaking bug that always happened. Every time I try to sleep. <laughs> Dude, just sleep, dog. Oh, here we go. There we go. We in Saint Denis, we in Saint Denis. My dear Arthur, I hope this Oh my fucking well. god, I hate this I bitch. Want to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens. I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. I believe that, but Arthur, you ain't finna use me, bro. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? 
Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Of course. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. <laughs> My fucking god, I hate this bitch. Bro, Mary Beth is our girl, bro. That's our girl. I only rock with Mary Beth, bro. Jesus. Look, Mary Lynn. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. Let's hit this balcony. Look at everything. Look at that, bro. This game is insane. Just broke our legs, dude. Look at all this, man. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. What, Reverend? I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I, I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. This sucker needs help, bro. This sucker needs help. We should talk to Dutch about his problem, bro. Alright, man. Well, it's been freaking awesome, man. You know what? Let's hit the ledger. It's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes, it is, isn't it? Makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, we're gonna hit the ledger, bro. And wait, where's the ledger? Am I tripping? Oh, it's upstairs. I'm gonna hit the ledger. You know what I mean? See what I can do for the camp. And then after that, bro, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna leave. We're gonna chill, man. We're gonna, uh, I think it's a good time to end off, man. Let's see. Well, first of all, let's restock on foods. And then let's see what else we got going on. Wow, so I just realized, bro, that camp boat that I bought was pointless. I freaking bought that camp boat. And now I gotta get another one because we're at a new place? That doesn't make no sense. Unless it just didn't save or something somehow. I don't know. Let's see what's this. Arthur wants to help plan journeys. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna get it. Oh! Lit! Oh, that's fire! Prove the rest of the tent. Hell yeah! Let's get everybody fire, bro. Nice. Now it's just this and that. I don't care for the boat, but chicken coop, I mean, why not? Mm. 
nice. So all I got left is the camp boat, and I'm not really worried about that. Beautiful. All right. It's time Arthur Morgan has to sit down and just, you know, sits down and relax. Well, y'all, it's the end of the episode, man. Dang, bro. I feel like we're just getting so far now, bro. And we're probably only halfway through the game. But this has just been lit, bro. We're in St. Denis. This is awesome. Having fun. Uh, oh, I'm going to try to get back on this today. Uh, We'll see. If not, I'll definitely be back on tomorrow morning, the usual. But, you know. But, yeah, man, this is, this is a freaking fun episode, dude. We saved Jack. We're in some business with Angelo Bronte now. Um, God, who knows what the fuck's happening. Mary, bro, sending me le letters. I'm so tired of her, bro. Mary Beth is our girl, bro. I'm telling you. <sighs> Anyways, catch y'all in the freaking next episode. Let's go.